Minasan of Karina Sai, today we have an extremely talented stage performer. Someone who I feel everyone knows but hardly ever talks about. I'm actually very fond of her MC work in particular. She really gets the crowd hyped. Momo Yokoyama, born November 30th, 1995 in Sapporo, Hokkaido, affiliated with Stardust Promotion. From an early age, she had an interest in acting, particularly after becoming familiar with stage play adaptations of the popular series Sailor Moon. It would then become her dream to perform in a play in this series. Momoyo became affiliated with the Sapporo-based acting office Egg in 2007, and she would begin performing in several theatrical plays in Hokkaido. I guess her story really begins in 2014, where she was cast as Sailor Mercury in two different Sailor Moon musicals. That is like the definition of making your dreams come true. Within the next year or so, she was unsure of what her future held. She considered retiring from acting and pursuing a different career. However, following a recommendation from the director of the Sailor Moon stage plays, who was surprised to hear that she was not already a voice actress, she decided to try out voice acting. After passing an audition held by the talent agency Stardust Promotion, she became affiliated with them in 2017 and moved to Tokyo. In 2017, she was cast as Karen Aijo, the protagonist of the franchise Revue Starlight, and the leader of the live-action group Starlight Kukugumi. Her participation in the series was just in the stage play, but then she would reprise the role in 2018 with the anime television series. To promote the series, she appeared at panels at Anime Festival Singapore and at Chara Expo USA in 2018. Kana Nanaki and Karen Takahashi, though being in different groups than Momoyo and Revstar, actually worked together in the Sailor Moon stage plays. Kanan was Sailor Mars and Karin was Sailor Saturn. Careful while looking up Takahashi though if you're interested, she shares the exact same name with another seiyu, that being Karen Takahashi from a similar franchise, Assault Lily. With Moyo and the Kukugumi, I for sure recommend the song The Star Knows. While it's more of a performance than a traditional song, but yeah, for some reason you haven't seen them live, definitely do so. You will love them. To go back to 2017 real quick, Stardust created their own seiyu unit. Sound Orion. Koyama would be one of the founding members and serve as their leader. They have had some member changes over the years, but as of right now, they are a unit of four and Momoyo is still their leader. As for music, well, I won't get into too much detail since that will be in one of my Seiyu Units videos, but they have had about six singles, three mini albums, one full album, and one best of. One of their songs being the ending theme for the anime Netsuzo Trap. Oh, I remember that. What a weird show. Now on to 2019, she and two other voice actresses from Hokkaido, Miharu Hanai and Reya Hayasaka, started hosting a radio program on STV Radio. No Aina Suzuki or Saki Yamakita, that's a big F. Actually, apparently Miharu and Aina are sisters, so that's a really big F. Though they were probably too busy, but Haru Kamimura is also from Hokkaido, so that's a missed opportunity as well. Anyway, Love Live fans rejoice. In 2020, she made an appearance in the Love Live Nijigasaki anime as the president of the drama club, and in the very unique anime Interspecies Reviewers as the elf Elma. She's also in the Rebirth for You card game and anime that I mentioned in prior videos. She voices Rei Toto, and she sings the opening with most of the cast. On April 23rd, Momoyo announced a month-long hiatus from voice work due to a vocal cord surgery. She explained that for the last three years, she had problems with her vocal cords and tried taking medicine for it, which worked initially, but over time, her schedule did not allow her for rest periods and only exacerbated the issue. After consulting with her doctor, she decided to have vocal cord surgery. She has since recovered and resumed her voice work. But just in case the moral of that story flew over your head, it means that she was overworked and had to get surgery for it. Which is probably incredibly scary and very costly. Shoutouts to Japan for consistently overworking their employees. Jumping to this year of 2022, she voiced Chihori Hokuto in Teppen, again singing the opening with most of the cast. During the 7th Annie Radio Awards this year, she won the Best Return Hope Radio Award. I have absolutely no idea what this means and I've said many times, but Japan has so many weird awards and I, I just don't understand. It's an award though, so I guess I had to mention it. Aside from these roles, she has had minor one episode characters in three shows. Those being in Osamake Rom-Com, where the childhood friend won't lose, Sorcerer Stabber Orphan, the 2020 version, and The Vampire Dies in No Time. She has also been cast as the character Haruka Shima in the multimedia franchise Onsen Masume which is an anime about onsen, Japanese hot springs being portrayed as anime girls. This onsen franchise and Revue Starlight are her only video game roles. Concerts would include exactly what you expect, all of the Revue Starlight stage plays and star lives that the Kukugumi were a part of, being at Animax and Anisama a small handful of times since 2017. Shoutouts to their 2021 performance in particular. More recently, she was at the Bush Road 15th anniversary event with Kukugumi and performing with the tapping cast. That was really cool. Before the facts, I'll just mention although she did technically transition into a seiyu, she is still first and foremost a stage performer. 
She is always posting about new plays she's in, although I don't recognize any of the names, they must be old originals or things I'm just unfamiliar with. But one thing I am familiar with is the anime Love and Lies, which she did a live reading drama for, voicing the role of Ririna Sanada. And now onto the fun facts, just a few of them sadly, but she is 153 centimeters or just barely 5 foot 1. On the socials, she has the gram. In fact, when Haruki Iwata got her Instagram very recently, Momoyo was the only person she followed for like the whole first day. It also seems that Moyo is her Instagram sensei, but she also has a personal Twitter and one for her Nico program. Her group Sound Orion has a TikTok and a YouTube channel where you can see her fairly often. Her mother is a nursery school teacher. Her special skill is dancing. Her favorite food is ramen. She enjoys reading shoujo manga, and she owns a cat named Ame, which I'm pretty sure is short for America, though Twitter could just be messing with me with the translations. She is constantly posting about him on Twitter. It is adorable. He always has this terrified look on his face, probably because of his encounter with Haruchan. Sticking with my beloved Haruchan, one year Moyo spent New Year's with her. Since Haruchan's family left for their hometown, Momo didn't want her to be lonely. While on the phone with them, they invited Momoyo to join them the next time they visit their hometown. Momo joked that she became a member of the Iwata family. I actually love their friendship. The last two facts are that she is a light sleeper, to the point where people laughing around her wakes her up. I totally feel this, I literally wake up like every hour, it sucks. And finally, Momoyo is a fan of the popular pop group Iris. Yu Serizawa in particular. Kind of an abrupt ending, but yeah, that's the ending. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. It really is a damn shame I couldn't find more facts about her. If you have any of your own, please leave them down below. Also, please join me in the next one. A very small precious cutie with a very impressive resume. I look forward to seeing you there.